Hello everybody, it's Stuart A. Swordlow and Janet Diane Moria Swordlow for Expansions.com and this is our news podcast for September 22nd, the first day of autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. I don't know if it's spring in the Southern Hemisphere, if you use a different day, but it's something. I like that's supposed to be autumn the 21st. Well it is, and if you look at the calendar you'll see today is the first day. First I think day. it started like at the, at, at the midnight thing, something, or it was sundown yesterday, or something like that. Right, I that think it's sense. a Jewish holiday. Already? Yeah. yeah. Too no, many that's of them. The late, it was supposed to be a joke, but she doesn't get it. Go on. Well, you want me to go first? You are. Yeah. All right, I'll go first, and I'm wearing, as you notice, my Kenya T-shirt, which I got in Nairobi in 2011. And why you would say is he wearing that? Well, it's because it's the lead story, and probably will continue to be a lead story for quite some time. As you must have all heard, there were uh, Muslim terrorists from Somalia who attacked an upscale mall in Nairobi, and it was the upscale mall next door to the hotel I stayed in. And at the time, back in 2011, even then, we had to stay behind uh, uh, guards and uh, barricades, and uh, we were told not to go out at night even then. And, uh, of course, uh, um, that mall was being promoted as a very good and safe place to go. Um, they, these gunmen are Al-Qaeda linked, and they cornered everyone in the, in the mall there. And if you were Muslim, they said you were allowed to go. How they proved that you were Muslim? That's what I was going to say. I would have stood up and said, said you know, Allah Muslim. will bar, and, you know, go, <laughs> and I would have left. <laughs> Um, but those who said they were not Muslim are well. But behind. now you know what's going to happen. What? People are going to take that one little segment where you spoke Arabic. Yeah. And th then they're going to put it out on the website. Oh, I, I really do don't care. I speak Arabic, so I really don't care what people think, as you well know. Um, so far, as of today, and I don't know when you'll be listening to this, but as of today, 59 people are known dead. There are 30 hostages still in the building or in the complex. And there are anywhere from 10 to 15 of these uh, attackers. Um, now, here's the interesting, one of the interesting things. Uh, the uh, Somalian militant group Al-Shabaab um, said this was a retribution for Kenyan forces in 2011 who attacked Somalia. But we have to remember, the Kenyans didn't just attack Somalia. It was because Somalian rebels and terrorists came to Kenya, attacked a very famous resort on the beach, took hostages, and killed people. I remember that. That's why the Kenyans attacked, to looking to, to rescue the, the kidnapped, uh, one of American actually, and British, that was there, and, and British, and they killed the, the husband. Yeah. So, no, this is not retribution for anything. You started the damn thing. Uh, this was at Nairobi's Westgate Mall, which is the, um, the biggest, fanciest mall in Nairobi or Kenya and probably that whole part of Africa. You know, there really isn't that much there. Um, but here's the interesting thing. The mall is owned by Israelis. So they said that's what made it a very good target. However, um, the shoppers in the mall are mostly expatriates, people from other countries, and very wealthy Kenyans, and there aren't too many of those. Um, so far we know that there are Canadian, French, and British dead, and American wounded, but we don't know much more than that at this time. But we do also know that Israeli special forces are now in Kenya helping the Kenyans. And interestingly, other countries have offered help, and the Kenyans said, no, thank you. We'll handle it ourselves, yet the Israelis are there. It makes me think maybe they're looking for somebody particular. Well, I think that they, since the Israelis built it, they probably have secret passages in there or whatnot uh, that's going on. Um, the Somalian president said uh, that uh, his country is familiar with terrorist attacks, duh. And they only too well know the human cost of violence like this. And he extended prayers for those in Kenya. So that was nice of him to do that. Um, however, the president of Kenya said he promises swift and painful revenge. So what does that mean? Could it mean, perhaps, that the Kenyans and the Israelis will attack Somalia? 
But you know what I find interesting, Ms. Genet, is that uh, on CNN in recent weeks, on the travel section, they've been promoting people to go to Somalia for vacation. And that, of course, is where all the Somali pirates were from, which we don't hear yeah. about those anymore. Well, I think they got either. rid of most of those pirates. Well, something's going on still with Somalia. But something is definitely going on. Uh, before I get into my next story, I want to uh, quickly mention that in the UK, um, the scientists have found what they're calling alien bugs on a research balloon that they had sent up to check on the Perseids meteor shower. Um, there's a lot going on here about that. I will talk about more of this at the October conference um, in uh, next month. Now, here's another interesting scientific report, and that is... The dogs are announcing it. Yes. Because it's so interesting, like the trumpets it that upsets people say. Them. The dogs get upset when I talk about the weather because uh, they just... Uh, well, they want it cold, of course. Yeah. They're excited, maybe. You know what? Because it was the dog days of summer, oh, okay. and now it's, it's come to an end, so they're very upset. Mm -hmm. But anyway, speaking of this, you know, the Illuminati, the scientists in the United Nations have always spoken about global warming, and they call it global uh, climate change. Well, information has, you know, leaked... The middle leak that's given on purpose from the United Nations that the temperature hasn't risen in the last 15 years. In fact, uh, documents again leaked uh, to by the Associated Press revealed deep concerns among politicians about the lack of global warming. Why are they concerned for the lack of it? Shouldn't they be happy? In fact, Germany called for references to slow down and warming to be deleted. They wanted they want to delete the, that the, the the global warming doesn't exist. And they said that the looking at the time span of just 10 to 15 years was misleading. Well, I've been saying, when you look at the weather, you can't look at the last century or two. You have to look at the last million or so years, because the cycles last for hundreds of thousands of years. What we've experienced in the last century or two is a blip. And, is very, and that was global warming. That was a natural part of the uh, cycle. In fact, in Hungary, they're worried that the report would provide ammunition for the deniers of man-made climate change. And then we know that climate gate scandal uh, surrounding leaked emails showed that scientists involved in the global warming scam were trying to manipulate their data to make it look more convincing. So it's just a big scam. Well, what's interesting, remember, is when they sanctioned the scientists who spoke against global warming, that's going to be interesting to find out, or we probably never will, about those scientists that were basically excommunicated from their scientific well, community. Well, they threatened with losing their jobs and everything or, or else. Or they've gone, yes. all we know. Now, this next story also takes place in Europe, in Germany. Um, remember when we did homeschooling a few years ago? Mm -hmm. We tried homeschooling, and we, we, we stopped it because it was just too difficult, and we were very busy, but we, we, we think that it's a good method. However, a German family recently was reunited with their children when a SWAT team raided their home and took the children away, demanding that the parents get a six-month jail term. Um, the four children of Dirk and Petra Wunderlich, ages 7 to 14, were forcibly taken by a team of 20 armed law enforcement officers from their home just as their homeschool classes were beginning. Now, the children were reunited with their parents after the family, given no choice, agreed to send their children to a government-approved education program. And uh, there are other homeschoolers, uh, for example, a case of Thomas and Marit Schaum, a family who face criminal charges for homeschooling, and the prosecutor also demanding the parents go to jail for six months. Now, some of the Sentences were overturned and replaced with a fine, but these people will have criminal convictions on their record. Now, the Wunderlich children were restored, given back to their parents um, after the family agreed to have their children submit to government teaching. Now, that is really scary. What does it sound like? You said, oh, it sounds like the Nazis again, right? Well, guess what? The Germans... Germany's homeschooling ban dates to Hitler. 
He's the one that banned it, but the current German government has endorsed it fully well. And why are they prosecuting Why? Because, these because um, uh, Angela, we know whose daughter she is, right. her father put the law in, and in effect, didn't, didn't that happen? Now, some of the families in Germany, uh, particularly one uh, family, came to the United States for political freedom um, and said um, that uh, they were coming here for, 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 to um, get political asylum. Uh, these, this family was called the Romaikis, and uh, they sought a, a, and obtained uh, asylum in the United States because of the German prosecution for their homeschooling. However, the Obama administration appealed and obtained an order from a higher court to send the family back to Germany. And that's now pending before the U.S. Supreme Court. And here's another quote. The Obama administration has argued in court that parents essentially have no right to determine how and what their children are taught, leaving the authority with government. Well, well know, that sounds like the land of the free. Well, you know what? We talked about this a uh, few podcasts back, I can't remember how far, about how that you, your child really, the, their medical records is between, after the age of nine, yes. between their doctor and the child, even if you're paying the bills. So we've talked a lot about this in the news, about how they are changing the youth, like Hitler's youth corps, and Obama has his youth corps under FEMA. Uh -huh. And these are the young people that they educated that turned against the, the quote-unquote older generations and turned people in. So that has been really an ongoing story that, that we have been reporting through the news. And is, is it true that there are some states in the U.S. where it is illegal homeschooling? Uh, that I don't know. I thought I, I, there, I think a few states in the east uh, I, mean, I don't know. Are, 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 it's illegal. I'm not positive, but um, the government has no right to tell you uh, how to teach your children. Now, you, you should educate your children. That, that's necessary. But how you educate them should be your business. Well, it's not just that. It's the medical. We also talked about on the East Coast about the vaccines that children can get without parents' permission. I remember when my boys or our boys were in public school, and one day uh, I, one of them hopped off of a school bus, and I didn't even know they'd been gone for the day. Yeah. So they can take your children. So anyway, they just got off the bus one day when I went to pick them up, and I didn't even know they had been gone, and they told me they had the right because uh, they, I signed something saying they could go on field trips so they could just take them whenever they pleased. So we have been following the government control of children and taking away more and more rights from the parents for quite some time. And as I said, turning them against their, their elders. And there's a reason. Yeah, and uh, it's just going to get worse, people, if you don't do something about it. But here's talking about, you know, Illuminati and, and control systems and people involved. Mm -hmm. Here's a story about... Hillary Clinton. Mm, this has been a rumor now for a long time. Yes, but now Jennifer Flowers, the woman who had a long sexual relationship with Bill Clinton, says that Bill told her that Hillary was bisexual. In addition, Jennifer Flowers says that there were rumors of an affair between Hillary Clinton and her longtime aide, Huma Abedin, who, as we know, uh, is the wife of the ex-congressman, who I think is a bit of a dopey, mm -hmm. um, and who failed the New York City mayoral candidate. He's the one that texted nude pictures of himself to women all over the place. Um, and so uh, Flowers claimed that she and the former president would still be together if uh, Chelsea wasn't born. Uh -huh. You know, Chelsea screwed it all up for them. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but Clinton, uh, Bill told uh, um, Miss Flowers that he didn't care that uh, his wife was bisexual. So well, they all are on that level. I mean, we've talked about this in our seminars and lectures for many, you know, many years. Mm. That the, many of them are bisexual. I mean, sexuality is different meaning to them than what the populace thinks that it is. And that's the end now. Well, of course. And now the Italian Parliament. Did you just see what no. happened with them? I didn't read it. I just saw the picture. I thought this is ridiculous. But they had some kind of a thing where it was to support um, the gays. And so the, the, they stood up at some point, and the women kissed and hugged each other, and the men kissed and hugged each other. This was, well, all, over, do that. This yeah. was all over yeah. Facebook. Well, on the left. Russians do that, too. 
So yeah. anyway, they're, they're again, they're just imprinting the people. Yeah. What they but want. we have nothing against gay people or anything like that. It's just that the issue uh, is they if, have you know people who condemn gay people and then practice that behind the scenes, that's not right either. Well, the issue, again, is the imprinting. I mean, like all this Miley Cyrus stuff, which is, again, I'm reluctant to mention, but here I am again. Because now, you know, I told you about the, well, of course, there was the twerking, and then there was a naked person on the, uh, she was a naked on the, the ball and chain, and then she was topless on some magazine cover or something. So it's about telling people, showing them with the pictures that everything, this is okay to do. That's the issue. If you're not this, they want to make you this. If you're born one way, it's one thing. But to make you that, or you do it just because of something else. So these are things that... Yeah, I just have one, one more story here, and that is um, there have been a lot of earthquakes this past week uh, in North America, uh, particularly in Quebec, along the St. Lawrence Seaway, uh, in British Columbia, um, in uh, South Carolina, uh, Alaska, Wyoming, Montana, California, Hawaii, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Arkansas. And in fact, there was one in Utah, right near Salt Lake City, which was registered and put on the, uh, my, I get an alert every time that ha these quakes happen, and then an hour later it said it was deleted because they're investigating that. So I don't know what's going on in Utah, but I'm telling you, something is definitely going on. Uh, with the tectonic plates and internally where there's no tectonic plate except for ancient ones. Something's going on out there, so just uh, be prepared for anything wherever you happen to be at the moment. Well, and also another big uh, uh, story is about that. They're calling it a monster storm that's headed toward Hong Kong and China. Now, this one, is a, they're predicting it 180 mile per hour winds. The interesting thing is, because you and I were talking about this, is that the news is calling it the largest storm to ever hit the earth. Yeah, but that's not true. Yeah, that, and that's what you were saying, because they're saying 180 miles per hour. That's said, 300 kilometers per hour. Uh, Hurricane Camille in 1960 in the U.S. was more than that. Hurricane Katrina had gusts more than that. So no, this is not the biggest storm yeah. ever. So why they're calling it that, I don't know. Now they've named this storm like they have. That's in, the interesting. This part. is interesting, and this actually came through one of our Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, thank we, you, Facebook friends. We learn a lot on Facebook, just like you do. Mm -hmm. The name of the storm is Usagi, and this person actually pulled it apart and said U S A, and then G I, indicating that it is a G I or military, military attack storm from the Americans. From the Americans going towards because it's Hong heading Kong towards Hong Kong and southern China. Yep. So. You know, take that for what it's worth. Then a couple of other things that I actually have posted on my Facebook page. So if you're not on Facebook, a lot of people says, "Oh, I don't say I don't want to do Facebook." Well, you know, it's very interesting. There's a lot of, of stuff that has no meaning on there, obviously, and a lot of stuff that every, I research it and I find it's fake stories. But a lot of stuff is interesting. So this one was posted by one way of one of my Facebook friends that's talking about a team of researchers in Switzerland who have developed a way of levitating and transporting small objects using nothing but sound. Now, of course, this supports my personal work on toning and you also... Know, my ex-wife could do that. She would scream and things would just fly and levitate. Well, apparently this is what yeah. they're doing here because it says scientists at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich have made water droplets, instant coffee crystals, styrofoam flakes, and a toothpick, among other things, hang in the air, move along a plane, and then interact with each other. Mm. And this is the first time that scientists have actually been able to use sound to simultaneously levitate several objects next to each other and move them. Mm. And of course, we've talked for a long time about the pyramids and how some of these big things have been moved. Right, exactly. Not with sticks, but with exactly. things like this. And of course, if they're telling you what they're doing behind the scenes... That means they've they done it a about, million times and they've done it with They've elephants. done a lot more, right. But anyway, so this is interesting for you to keep in mind that they're actually telling you about this. Another interesting story that I found on my Facebook page, that Tunisian women are traveling to Syria to wage a sexual jihad, performing intercourse with dozens of Islamic fighters and returning home pregnant. 
Now, some of these women, they, they are saying, are tricked into it. Some of them are teenagers. Yes, as young as 13. They are saying that they are swapped between 20, 30, and 100 rebels, and they come back, quote-unquote, bearing the fruit of sexual contact, so they're actually raising another layer yeah. of fighters. The idea is to create a new generation of uh, jihadists. Right, but this, again, now this is... They're talking about this, of course, I'm assuming with Muslims here, but um, every religion, people who have, follow religion only follow it to the point that they want to follow it. Because they're saying now that there is a certain contract, this jah, jah, uh, jihad fatwa, jihad fatwa. Um, this contract that the women can agree upon a temporary contract where they can have sex with a number of men without it affecting them. As far as a religious, yeah, it's just like a, morality. it's like getting a, a morale. Oh, the thing the Catholic the priest Catholic did. Do, uh, can't think what they call them either. Uh, kind of like a dispensation. Yeah, um, I can't remember. You'll think of it. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. Okay, then uh, somebody sent me something on my email about Obama T-shirts being oh, featured in mug shots. That yeah. criminals now are being more and more arrested. With, when they're wearing an Obama t-shirt. So what does that tell you? That he's a criminal too. Something's going on or, or he's some kind of again programming icon like we've talked about. Now, um, I always like to keep you up to date. Oh gosh, I know what you're going to do. <laughs> on some of the newest things that are going on out there. And the reason these things are going on out there, as I told you before, is bringing all the things about sexuality in any way, shape or form out into the public eye. So on the Facebook page, we had posted, it's really a hilarious ad called poopery.com. So anyway, and this is a real product that, you know, you spray it in the toilet and nothing smells. But it's very graphic and it's very funny the way that they've put it together. So you laugh, ha ha, again, shock or, you know, ah, when it opens up the frequencies. Now, today, here we have another ad campaign going on using major football players to sell something that they said most people would not admit to using. This particular product is called One Wipe Charlie's and it's about moisturized butt wipes that are aimed for men. It's like why do we need these products and why are we focusing all these things? Again, all of it is moving you toward accepting absolutely everything there is about sexuality. And we were talking about this too earlier, about how there are a lot of cultures where nudity is, you know, not a big deal. Whatever you, your normal body functions are, it's not a big deal. But here in the U.S., most of the West, it's, um, you know, it is a big deal. So they're breaking that apart. So there really will be no taboos and no barriers about anything anymore. So be mindful, and this is one of the things we're actually talking about on my monthly blog, which is energetic boundaries. Are you going to talk about the Russian commercial? Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> All right, I sent you brought you it. You can just tell them. I will tell tell you. It was a terrible commercial, but it was about tampons. And in this commercial, you have two women ready to go for a swim. So and they're very beautiful, and so they start walking out into the water, and all of a sudden, you see the woman on your left. Uh, being attacked by a giant shark. Her body flies up into the air. There's blood everywhere and she's gone and body parts fly up into the air and the blonde woman is swimming along very, you know, just doing her thing because the first woman who was attacked, her tampon leaked and it attracted the shark. So again, there's nothing sacred about anything anymore. The other woman who lived had a good tampon that did leak. So there was no blood in the water to attract the shark. So all sense, this, actually. but but all of this is going to you know every angle that could possibly be covered is being covered to get you okay with whatever they present to you whether it's violence blood gore whatever it's just all a natural part of life and there well, it is it is but they're they're skewing everything so anyway again. On my monthly blog, we're talking about energetic boundaries. And the upcoming blogs, just so I'll let you know, we will be talking about uh, health and, and specifically weight loss because that's a big topic where we talk about mental weight loss. So we have a lot of health things coming up on the blogs. We will be doing more with the finances because that's a big thing on the blogs. Of course, we have the new special reports out. They're unblocking the financial blocks and are removing them, the frequency activator, where you become basically your own Rife machine right. or your own radionics, radionics machine. machine. 
So we have lots of things that are coming. We have lots of things planned. We now have the Montauk Madness segments up in the gold member section. Those are being posted every day to keep you, you know, it's kind of one of our thank yous for supporting us through all our time of transition. And of course, in October, we have the Kuiper Belt Connection. That's going to be an astounding conference. Yes, We've it been is. getting our research pulled together, and it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty wild. It's going to be spacey. Spacey. Very it's going to be stellar, a stellar event. Yeah. And we have in November, you're going down under with your thunder, and a week long mm -hmm. extra. Plus, I'm traveling. Plus, Plus I'm you're traveling. traveling. Yeah. Down in Aust Perth, Australia to present Hyperspace Oversoul Extravaganza to the Southern Hemisphere people. Because they're always upside down and a lot of blood goes to their heads, so I might as well you use got it. it. And you got to straighten that yeah. out. And then in January we have a course here in St. Mich in St. Joseph, Michigan, our own uh, Hyperspace Oversoul Extravaganza week-long class. So we've got so much ex so many things, so many tools out there mm -hmm. that if you want to know how to take care of yourself, how to protect yourself, how to take care of your relationships, how to take care of your finances, how to use your tampons or your wipes, there you go. We can we help you with that. We will show you and demonstrate. Yeah, Stuart will demonstrate the man wipes, the one wipe Charlie's for you. I like to demonstrate the tampon. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. We can work that one out. Okay. I've, I've seen you drawing the pictures and writing your notes, and now I know why. Mm, that was a secret I want to tell you. Yeah, well, I've determined it because okay. you know I'm a super sleuth okay maybe I wouldn't use that second word sleuth yeah what does that mean it's like sloth sleuth it's a, like Slice. a little spy you know, that finds out everything means a lot of things means a lot of things anyway anyway so we're busy here we're always busy we're still working on getting the website put together a lot of the so, major bugs are out but now we're loading it and we're fleshing it out and everything's you know, coming together in a very good way so we're very happy with everything. We're looking forward to a fantastic fall. Uh, I should say autumn. It's, it's I don't want any, begun. Listen to me, I don't want any more falls, okay? No, but that's a, <laughs> an American term. They don't use it. It's always autumn. Yeah, well, so we're looking forward to a fantastic autumn. I don't want to look forward to a fantastic fall. Remember mm -hmm. your words. So we're yeah. looking forward to a fantastic autumn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lots of amazing information. We always learn so much when we come together as a like-minded group. I'll be sure and contact Patricia, customer support at expansions.com. Uh, she can help put together whatever you need. And a lot of people are putting together packages where they'll be here in the fall and they'll be here for the, the January, January or November events. Mm -hmm. So she'll help you put together a package. Good. Excellent. So lots of stuff going on. Yeah. So uh, that's it for today. And uh, that's all you have to say? I always have lots of stuff to say, but I that's know. enough for today. We'll spare them. We'll spare you. And so we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.